Hi guys, um, if you have um, a Honda City X100 <coughs> stock version, it comes from factory with this like kind of standard clutch lever, and it's uh, very good for what it is. Uh, you can use it for sure, and uh, it's really like works uh, by default, I would say, right? But at the same time, the uh, specifics of this one, of the standard clutch, it's what engages uh, really, really almost like too far. I would say some people might um, might feel its uh, engagement point is too far, right? So, for example, on my particular motorcycle, where engagement comes about like 2.5 inches. Let me show you. So this is the engagement point on my particular motorcycle. And uh, as you can see, it's almost the length of my smallest uh, <laughs> finger. And um, it's totally doable. You can do it. But um, sometimes uh, you want to improve something, right, in your motorcycle. And this is really great area to invest some time and efforts uh, to improve it. And you can do it uh, for sure uh, by... Uh, by replacing this clutch lever, by replacing this, this clutch lever uh, with this um, Honda official part or AM part, and uh, look, <laughs> in our era when iPhones made in China, these made still in Japan. Wow, can you imagine? Genuine part, Japan. So the number is, uh, you can see it here, right? And uh, you would ask, hey, what was super about this one? Um, so the great thing about this uh, replacement, about this Japanese <laughs> Japanese part, is that uh, it has adjustment mechanism, right? So similarly to the brake lever, it can be adjusted, and I hope it can bring. Uh, the engagement, clutch engagement or disengagement point closer, closer to my hand. Hey guys, uh, so I removed this one is original and this one, this is a replacement and uh, as you can notice uh, there is a difference in the length. The new part is little bit longer, like probably about a centimeter longer than the um, original one. But this is uh, not really uh, a problem, right? But the main thing which you want, which you really want to know, uh, this is the difference in the in this area, basically. So let me show you. So here is the original one, you see, and here is the replacement. And you uh, probably can notice that this kind of tooth is much, much. It's 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 bring additional height or rift. Uh, up to you how to consider it. But this tooth is excessive part. You need to cut it, and you need to cut it down to match this width, right? So if I would say we can measure like this one and like this with two so you pretty much need to cut this up to here up to here so let me do this and uh, show a final result so this is how it looks after cutting pretty clean cut and uh, so this is after cut and uh, 
this is the original one so i believe it's a pretty good fit but let me let me try okay guys so here you go you see our cut and uh, i know it's aluminum you will say rate it uh, should not produce any rust but uh, i want to to paint it and uh, i have something like rust oleum um, which does prevent <laughs> prevent rust uh, but it's just you know the black one so i i want to uh, spray it and uh, to provide some just in case a layer of protection okay guys so here is ready to go the clutch lever adapted <laughs> i mean it's cut off the uh this fin and by the way uh yeah um uh, this clutch lever seems like from honda goldwing or honda fb6 which basically goldwing variation yeah so i will put some grease here i will put bushing wear with some grease as well and let me mount it and uh, show you what would be adjustability and uh, comfort after installing this and using this okay guys here is the final result it looks really sleek looks factory like and uh, now you can adjust it this is really interesting and nice so if i put uh, to number five the engagement point it's about this <laughs> it's like here in the position number five number five here right you have about uh, one 1.5 inch uh, position for engaging disengaging your clutch and this is really cool i really like it and uh, yeah, this is really, really nice, really easy uh, customization for your bike and it makes more enjoyable and more comfort for you. I want to show you guys. So this is the brake lever, right? You see uh, what's the finish like inside. It's kind of removed some, some metal from inside. Uh, not sure is it like for lightweight or for durability, but whatever. It's removed, right? And here compare the original clutch lever. <laughs> it's nothing removed, so probably it's... I would not say it's for shape, but it's not removed, right? And now see this lever which I just installed, right? This is really nice. Removed from inside, similarly to the brake lever, right? similarly and this is this was original one so i would say this clutch lever make more sense and more style like more sense style wise right it's very similar to the brake lever <laughs> i'm not sure why honda did not install it from a factory okay guys thanks for watching video subscribe if you if you want and stay tuned i have a few more upgrades coming for this bike ride safe enjoy your bike and uh, be safe and happy bye bye